people ask if exercise is more important than nutrition. <laughs> My answer to this is no. Because nutrition can make or break your weight loss. Because no matter how much you exercise, you cannot outperform a bad diet. Before we delve into specifics, let's start by understanding the theory, the basic theory. You would have heard about many diet plans out there. For example, low carb, ketogenic diet, low fat, intermittent fasting, uh, weight watchers, and paleo diet. So they are playing around with the combination of uh, carbohydrate, fat, and protein. Some are using uh, high fat method, some are using high protein method, some are probably going for plant based or paleo. Um, compliant food and so on but all this right the theory behind it is all about calorie deficit you know that calories are important for reaching your fitness goals but how do you know how many calories you should eat for fat loss or muscle gain the first step is finding your TDEE which stands for total daily energy expenditure these are the number of calories you burn in a day, but that is easier said than done. Because your energy expenditures uh, depends on several factors, including your body type, daily activity level, and exercise. TDEE is made up of three parts. Metabolism, daily activity, and exercise. Most of the calories you burn come from your metabolic rate or the energy your body uses for the basic functions such as breathing and maintaining uh, temperature. This is also called BMR or basal metabolic rate. In addition to BMR, you burn calories through daily activities like walking around as well as any additional exercise you do. Together, these three parts add up to the total energy you expend in a day. Okay, the key to creating a sustainable calorie deficit is to eat fewer calories than you burn, but not less than your metabolism burns. In other words, target below total calories burn, but above BMR. Look at this table. In this example, a woman has a BMR of 1,600 calories, but she only burns 400 calories from normal activity and doesn't exercise. That means she shouldn't have a deficit greater than 400 per day because if she did a 500 calorie deficit, her metabolism would slow, likely causing her weight gain later on. However, she also wouldn't lose much weight with such a small deficit. To lose weight faster, she has to increase activity. In this chart above, she's burning another 400 calories from exercise. Now, her max calorie deficit is 800 calories per day, meaning she could lose weight twice as fast. But again, it is best to target somewhere between BMR and total calories burned that way, you have room for adjustment. Understand the significance of calorie deficit. Let's discuss how to incorporate uh, macros into our balanced diet. The term macronutrients come from three uh, nutrients called proteins, fat, and carbohydrates. Each macronutrient uh, offers a different set of vitamin and minerals to support your health, well-being, and fitness goals. Furthermore, vitamins and minerals are interdependent on each other. So, if you don't get enough of one nutrient, it can lead to nutritional deficiency, as your body may struggle to absorb other nutrients too. This is why consuming a balanced and healthy diet is important. Some foods are more nutritionally dense than others. For instance, if you consistently add snacks and candy without also consuming meats, fats and vegetables, 
then your body could be at greater risk of several health problems such as diabetes, heart disease and more. However, this doesn't mean that you should completely avoid any snacks and sugar for the start. It is important to also give in to your cravings, but with caution. Being flexible in what you eat is important. If you are too restrictive, uh, then you are likely to face a backlash of severe cravings and you will actually reverse any progress you have made. So, your diet should be 80% healthy and the balance of 20% allows some flexibility uh, for your choice of food, especially if you are the beginner. With a flexible diet, you will not only find it easier to diet and stick to it, but you will also find that you won't have severe cravings and your sweet tooth will be under control. This is particularly important if you are looking to lose weight. Balancing your macro intake is essential for your overall health, satiety and weight loss. Let's take a closer look at each of these macro. From this picture here, uh, it actually shows you the macros with their respective caloric values. So for, uh, for, so for protein, you will see that 10 gram of protein is equivalent to 40 calories. 10 gram of fat is equivalent to 90 calories, which is quite high compared to protein. And 10 gram of carb give you 40 calories. Carbohydrates provide quick energy and are found in food like grains, fruits and vegetables. Carbohydrates are the body's main source of energy. Carbohydrates can be starchy, sugary or fibrous. During digestion, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose sugars. The sugar in your blood will circulate, giving you an energy boost. Snacks cause your blood sugar level to fluctuate dramatically, while fibrous carbs cause your blood sugar level to rise and fall gradually. This provides long-lasting energy. Fats provide energy, help control hormones, appetite and blood pressure, cholesterol levels and blood sugar. But they are also the only macronutrients that can transport fat-soluble vitamin A, D, E and K. This makes Healthy fats an essential component of a healthy diet. It can be sourced from foods such as avocados, nuts and oil. Protein are crucial for muscle repair and growth and can be obtained from sources like lean meat and dairy products. Proteins and fat take longer to digest than carbs. So eating protein along with carbs slow down digestion in the stomach and absorption in the intestines. This will help slow the rate of sugar entering bloodstream, keeping blood sugar steady and preventing blood sugar spikes. You cannot recover well between workout sessions without an adequate intake of proteins. So, make sure to consume at least 1 gram of protein per 1 kg of body weight. Now that we understand the importance of uh, macros, now let's learn how to calculate and determine the right macronutrient uh, ratios for our weight loss journey. Uh, macronutrient ratios refers to the percentage of calories you derive from each macro. The optimal ratio can vary depending on individual goals, preference, activity level and their lifestyle. For weight loss, a common macronutrient ratio is 30-40-30 split, which means 30% of calories from calories are from carbohydrate, 40% uh, of calories from proteins, and 30% from fat. And at the other end, people who want to increase muscle, right, they would actually increase the uh, percentage for protein and also carb, but lower fat. Okay, 
we had learned about uh, calculating calorie deficit and then we learned about the need of uh, macronutrients uh, in order to have sustainable weight loss journey, right? So now, let's work on the numbers. Let's work towards uh, deriving our macronutrient ratio. In order to do that, we need to start from calculating our BMR, okay? So you can follow the formula listed here or you can just simply use an uh, online calculator which you can find from the internet to do that calculation. I am going to illustrate based on a um, woman age 50 years old and uh, her height is 164 cm and her weight is 70 kg. Let's click on calculate, calculate and see what is her BMR. Okay, as you can see from the result, her BMR is 1,314 calories a day. Okay, the following two steps are for us to derive our total daily energy expenditures. Okay, first, decide your activity level based on this table. And then, once you have decided that, multiply your BMR with the activity level. Okay, for example, if you are somebody who is moderately active, that means you exercise roughly three to five times a week, then you should use your BMR multiply with 1.55. So based on the same example um, that we quoted earlier, this woman has a BMR of 1314. So we use 1314 to multiply with 1.55 and her calorie, her total daily energy expenditure is 2036.7. Okay, now that we have derived uh, total daily energy expenditure, how do we calculate our calorie deficit? So let's quote an um, example based on the same lady just now. So she has her uh, current TDEE of uh, 2037, right? And her basal metabolic rate was uh, uh, 1314. So her uh, calorie deficit, the, the maximum that she can achieve is roughly about 700, okay? So, um, but let's say she wouldn't want to go, you know, to, um, she, she will go for something moderate she she wants to she, she set a target of 500 calorie deficit a day okay that would mean that her uh, her calories intake for the day should be uh, roughly about uh, 1500 calories a day how to derive that is by using her t current TDEE of roughly 2000 minus of uh, 500 then she has her Carry intake for weight loss of about 1,500 calories a day. There are 7,700 of calories in one kilo of fat. So, based on the example quoted earlier, this lady who wants to, um, who has a calorie deficit of 500 uh, per day, she will be able to achieve 3,500 calorie deficit per week. So in two weeks, she should be able to um, shed off about 1 kg of fat. Okay, not all my macronutrients are created equally. So for every gram of protein and carbohydrate, your body is provided with 4 calories of energy, and while fat provides 9 calories per gram. To work out how many grams of each you need, you multiply total daily calories by 0.4 for protein and 0.3 for carbohydrate and fat. The protein and carbohydrate figures are then divided by 4 and fat figure by 9. The final figures will be how many grams of each to eat. So for example, based on uh, 1,500 calories, uh, daily calories needed, um, and based on the, the macro split of 40% protein, 30% of carbohydrate, and 30% of fat ratio, um, then this lady should be taking 150 gram of protein, 112 
g r a m of carbohydrate and 50 g r a m of fat daily. So now the next question is, how do you track your calories and also macro intake or uh, daily? Okay, the easiest way out is to track your macros by installing apps such as MyFitnessPal. When you uh, initially download the app, it will ask you a number of questions based on your body composition and your goal. Make sure that your weight and your height have been taken in the last week. This information needs to be up to date for, or otherwise there may be inconsistencies and your calories and macronutrients may be calculated incorrectly. Once your body composition and goals have been entered, the fitness pal will automatically calculate your calories. The green calories are the total calories that you should consume every day and these are split between food and exercise. When you input exercise, you will add a number of calories to your total. These are extra calories that you can eat in a day. When you click on the blue plus sign on the bottom right corner of the app, you can log your food. So whenever you have eaten anything, make sure to weigh it using kitchen skills or follow serving recommendations on food labels and insert the appropriate amount into the app. You can also find your food. Once you choose the meal you would like to log in, it will take you to the main food search database. You can use the top search bar to find thousands of food from around the world and a variety of brands. Then simply choose how much you consume and it will calculate the calories and macronutrients for you automatically. As you can see, once oatmeal were, was added, the total, the total calories on the homepage was reduced. When you click on the calories, calories remaining tab, you will be taken to another screen that shows you your intake for vitamins and minerals as well as macronutrients. The app automatically calculates your requirement for nutrients based on your body composition. Whenever you add any food or drinks that you consume, it will also update your intake for nutrients. You can track down how many, how much you have already consumed of a particular nutrient and how much more you should consume.